We're back. Now, I'm pleased to say we're joined by one of our regulars here at Securing America, the host of his own television program, uh, Economic War Room with Kevin Freeman. And that would, of course, be Kevin Freeman. He is our duty expert on economic warfare and the very, very considerable damage that is being done by those inflicting it upon us, mostly unbeknownst to Americans. This comes at a moment when we are witnessing uh, now indisputably the advent of significant stagflation. Um, a negative GDP has just been announced as well as the highest inflation in 40 years. To talk about all of it and what it means for both the investments that Wall Street continues to insist we make in our mortal enemy, communist China, and also what they're doing in Washington at the moment to dethrone the dollar as the world's reserve currency is our friend Kevin Freeman. Welcome back, Kevin. Good to have you with us. Thank you, Frank. Let's start with the first issue, Kevin. You have been very, very clear-eyed and a clarion voice, really, on the issue of the Chinese Communist Party, the threat that it represents to us, and specifically the unrestricted warfare it has been engaging in for, well, at least 20 years. Um, talk a little bit about that and how economic warfare features in that overall strategy. Well, Frank, there's no question that the Chinese understood uh, 20 plus years ago that as long as America's economy was the strongest in the world, uh, that they could not dethrone us. So they began a process. You labeled it unrestricted warfare. That's the best English translation we can get. But that means all out war, war in every respect, cultural warfare, uh, rare mineral warfare, every type of warfare. And at the center of all of it, is this notion that if we take down the American economy, we will not be able to fund a military. And it, economic warfare is something the Reagan administration used against the Soviet Union, and the Chinese have been focused on it, undermining us, infiltrating us, uh, stealing our capital, uh, stealing our invent, inventions and ideas, everything possible to, to take America down. And this GDP print that you just mentioned, that we went negative, and in, in this mass inflation time, we went negative. I mean, that's horrifying. A combination of what the Chinese are doing and what the Biden policies have done has put us in a very difficult spot. You mentioned capital theft. I wish it were thievery. Um, it's diversion for sure from, well, patriotic investing, but towards our enemies but it's been voluntary. It's been engineered um, as, I guess, part of the elite capture of old friends, as they call them on Wall Street, helping voluntarily migrate trillions of dollars from mostly unwitting American investors to China. What is that about, Kevin? Give us a sense of the magnitude of it and the damage that it's done. Well, I think you could more, uh, you know, okay, so if it's not uh, theft, uh, it's co-option, it's bait and switch, it's fraud, it's all of these notions that, that Wall Street told us that the future of the world is China and therefore we have to invest in China. That's That was a ridiculous notion uh, 25 years ago. It's a ridiculous notion today. Their economy, their the way that their government manipulates and controls their people is not conducive to good, wonderful economic growth going forward. It, it is, you know, a totalitarian state that is repressing really wonderful people who have all sorts of economic opportunity, but are being controlled so tightly that it's a bad investment. And yet Wall Street has profited by this globalization idea. We haven't been exporting American notions and ideals and liberty to China. China has been uh, taking our economy piece by piece, bit by bit. Theft is is one way to say it, but co-option or fraud is another. Yeah, warfare is the the bottom line for sure. And and <clears throat> Kevin, um, the underwriting that we've done is enabling the rest of the uh, unrestricted warfare. I think that's for sure. 
Um, you have done uh, yeoman's work now for 10 years or so to try to assure investors that if they don't want to be putting their money into our mortal enemy, their financial advisors can ensure that they still make money, uh, but invest patriotically. Tell us about your initiative and uh, an important development just in the past couple of days. Well, the key is, is that it's not Wall Street's money. Wall Street invests, invests for their customers and the customers don't want China. Uh, particularly after COVID, but also they see the you, you've quality. actually poll tested that proposition, right? Tell oh, absolutely. About, uh, your finding. Absolutely. And here's the bait and switch. ESG were being forced on us, this idea of being environmentally friendly, social justice and governance on American companies. And then they take that money and invest it in China, which is again, a bait and switch. It's a fraud mm -hmm. because the Chinese are not good on any of that. They're not good for the environment. And I don't mean the people, I mean the government is right. bad for the environment, it's bad for social justice and everything else. Well, when we ask people, do you want your money invested to benefit America patriotically, or do you want it to invest it along these lines? Without hesitation, people say, I want my money invested patriotically. Wall Street's not been giving them that option. So we've gone around Wall Street to the local client facing financial advisor with this, what you've deemed the mad as hell campaign. I don't want to be funding the demise of America. I don't want to be funding the rise of the Communist Party. So get my money out of that and put it in stuff that's good. And we train financial advisors. We just got word that our course is live, meaning we can start registering advisors for training at Liberty University. That's who's hosting our course for us. It's an eight week training program. We walk through all of these issues with a financial advisor. It, ask me who I want managing my money. I want someone who understands the things we're teaching. So they can find it at uh, the National Security Investment Consultants Institute at Economic War Room. Is that the yeah, way in, to do NSIC.org or economicwarroom.com forward slash advisor will let you know how, how your advisor can, if you go to economicwarroom.com forward slash advisor, you can nominate your advisor and, and they can come do our training. We really need you to do that too. Kevin Freeman, we have to take a short break. We're going to come right back with more about dethroning the dollar. Kevin Freeman, straight ahead.